Hello and welcome to this exercise. We're going to continue working with if statements. We have two cars. Car one has a mileage of 86,000. Car two has a mileage of 101,000 miles. And we're going to write a program and evaluate the following. If car one has a mileage less than or equal to car two, then we're going to output text that reads very similar. Car one mileage is less than or equal to car two. If car two has a mileage of 101,000 miles, then we're going to output car two has a mileage of 101,000. And if car two has a mileage less than car one, then we're going to output, I will eat my foot if this prints on the screen. That's kind of a silly statement because you'll see that, you know, it's impossible. Car two, you know, doesn't have a mileage less than car one. So but let's go ahead and put it in the code and see what happens. We're going to create two integers because these are whole numbers, this mileage here. Car one will assign 86,000. Car two will assign 101,000. And we'll just write the if statements. If car one less than or equal to, that's what this means. So this is going to evaluate back as true if car one is less than car two or if car one is equal to car two. In that case, we're going to print car one mileage is less than or equal to car two. The next one, if car two is equal to that, the double equals means it's equal to 101,000 miles exactly, then we're going to print out car two as a mileage of 101,000. And finally, if car two is less than car one, we'll eat our foot. We'll put that on the screen. So let's go ahead and print that. Car one has mileage less than or equal to car two. Is this true? Well, car one does have mileage less than or equal to car two, so that's true. Car two has a mileage of 101,000 miles. That's a true statement. That's why this second guy was evaluating out to true. And of course, the third one, if car two is less than car one, this did not print anywhere because this evaluated to false. What we have in the middle here is, is not true, and so the if statement just jumped out and didn't do anything. So again, just getting some practice here, I encourage you to make up more scenarios on your own and really get comfortable with if statements because you're going to use them in almost every single program that you create in Java.